Welcome back to Pillowcase of Doom, Slasher Edition. This time, it's your turn mm -hmm. to pick from the pillowcase. So, so I reach in and see what you pull out. Oh, very nice. The, the burning. burning. Have you ever seen the burning before? Yes. 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 Uh, I think just once. The pillowcase has spoken, and it has commanded us to watch the burning. Get ready. Let's go. Always love a nice camp setting. You know the '80s really done it right there. And that hair, though. I know, dude. Has some screech hair from uh, Saved by the Bell. Yeah. So this is another one uh, from the year of your birth, 1981. Yep. Look, he's sleeping by a window. I don't know. Not me. Well, I, I know it is Giallo July, and that one, That's, that kind of like a little Giallo yeah. kill right there, you know? <laughs> that, that guy is from uh, Seinfeld. That dude right there? Yeah, the, yeah. the blue. Yeah, he is, isn't he? Little creepy dude. Uh-huh. Uh-oh. Got them hedge clippers. I got some of those. Mm-hmm. I, I did grow up with this movie. I don't remember seeing this one in the video store ever. No, I haven't either. I mean, it's just like, you know, it, it just came, it came it came into my life, you know, when Scream Factory released this Blu-ray, honestly. When you got it, that's when I watched it. Yeah, that's why I, I guess that was our first time, both of our first times. For a movie that maybe was lost, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. Not necessarily meaning it was lost. It was, I mean, you know, it's a Weinstein movie, so I'm sure, you know, there was probably a DVD out there of it. Probably. And, I mean, it had to have been a VHS. But ever since we watched it that first time, man, I've just loved it. It is really really awesome dude that dude has an industrial size freaking fanny pack you know mm -hmm. and this guy here this counselor these kids are so loud but yet that counselor is basically it's just slow and it's you like, can't hear them yeah it's like these kids aren't paying attention i'm guessing that was what they were going for but thank god he found his uh his vitamin, vitamin e, e. <laughs> pov the slasher these dudes in this movie are a little high octane on the uh the pervertness aren't they yeah a guy from seinfeld is like the ringleader of perverts you know he is and just like that we get our campfire tail you just you can't go wrong with a campfire tail you just can't no right whether it's in the burning madman sleepaway camp yeah or friday the 13th Gah! oh oh <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Harvey Weinstein just wrote the character Eddie as like a personal autobiography, right? <laughs> no. uh -oh. God, yes, you uh gonna get her by the throat. We don't want to see her slashed as much as we just want to see Eddie just totally dismembered. Oh, yes. There's a lot of like beautiful shots in this movie. Like yeah. the scenery is just so beautiful. Okay, so that was The Burning. We watched the... Uh, the Scream Factory Blu-ray. They do have a 4K uh, now. Uh, we do not have that one. But um, I think it looks perfectly uh, it looks fine. Good. It looks really yeah. good on this Blu-ray. I don't know if maybe there's more special features on the, um, the 4K. Uh, if there is, or maybe something we look at, at. I don't think there is a lot of stuff available there. This Blu-ray had a, quite a few things. Not not disappointed at all in that. Um, there's an interview with Tom Savini. There's an interview with uh, Cropsey. An uh, interview with one of the actresses. Uh, there is a um, commentary track. Steel gallery uh, trailers. Uh, some behind the scenes uh, thing where it just literally just shows them like working out scenes scenes you know getting getting scenes ready and stuff that little piece is neat how they show it yeah yeah i mean and, and you know seeing tom savini yeah. at work is pretty yeah. cool i mean I, I think tom savini is a, a an arrogant asshole but uh i mean i can't deny he, he does really good work so yeah um huh. yeah so I, I was looking uh i don't believe this was ever really released on home video until 2007 there was a dvd 
uh, put out, uh, MGM, I believe, put out the, the DVD. Uh, I never got that for some reason. I don't believe it was ever actually released on, on VHS, so that's probably why I didn't grow up watching the movie. And uh, I just guess totally missed the DVD release. Uh, I, it may have been something that I wanted back then, because after I saw the DVD cover, I remember the cover. I remember wanting to get it, but just never did never did get it but uh yeah th this is uh you know saved it for a, a damn a damn good release uh you know I, I know scream gets a lot of flack and shit but you know they mm -hmm. did really good with yeah. this release with favorite kills what uh what's your favorite kill glazer oh yeah he took the uh garden shears stomach or the chest it was a more like, like up in this area it's like not necessarily the throat, I don't think, uh, but kind of the chest. Yeah, the chest, and yeah. then walking back. Yeah, that, back that, that was really the... cool, the way, the way they, you know, he you know, took it to the chest yeah. and, you know, crops, he walk, walked them. Uh, I, th I think my favorite is, I love, like, uh, on the uh, on the raft where, uh, where crops, he sh chopped off, I think his name was Woodstock, you know, chopped off his digits. You know, and then later on, you see Woodstock come back, and you know he's all like slashed down, Slash, the, yeah, the, yeah. Over the eye and stuff. I thought that was that was really cool. I think the the Cropsey origin story, I think, is lame, but apparently it is based off of like a a, a campfire tale up in you know up in the north, you know, mm -hmm. in, in New Jersey and stuff. So I mean, I guess they took that, but I mean, honestly, it was just kind of like, oh god, that's just that's lame. That's obviously was made by kids trying to scare each yeah, other so yeah. you know i did like how the movie ended with another campfire tale you know just letting you know he's still out there unfortunately there was never a sequel to this one i know tom savini didn't really love the cropsy makeup he did but i think it looks really good and if it wasn't for the Woodstock scene, I would say just the, uh, put this up, my next favorite death was when uh, Cropsey took it uh, in the forehead with the uh, the axe. I thought that was really cool. And Cropsey with a uh, a flamethrower. That's cool. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, we can we can have a, a crossover event. You know, you got uh, Michael with his uh, his butcher knife. You got uh, Freddy with his, uh, his claws. You got, uh, and, and it's like with Cropsey, what would you give? Them. would you give them the 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 the, the hedge trimmers or would you give them the flamethrower i mean because both are pretty both of them pretty, cool. pretty cool i think i think his, uh cropsy's legacy at this point is probably the the hedge clippers because i mean that awesome silhouette that they use you know i think that's his legacy but uh, man that that, that flamethrower that's pretty cool too have you guys watched the burning what do you think about the burning when did you discover the burning did you watch it in theaters because I, it had a theatrical run back in 81 you know i don't think it showed many places let us know down in the comments we're actually going to have a bonus episode yeah. this month uh, we're celebrating uh, giallo july that the bookibus is is, uh, putting on we'll be doing a a pillowcase of giallo but as always stay spooky and keep it disheveled